Hey folks, welcome back to F1 2021 with the team, my team career, the season finale of season 4. We are heading to the Yas Marina circuit and of course after the race we'll do the whole post season set up and stuff. So kick back and enjoy this season finale. Okay, I need your attention. The tech regulations are changing. There's a risk some of our hard work will be undone, so we need to mitigate it. As soon as you can, I want you to look at the developments we have and tell us what areas you want to invest in protecting.
Fantastic. You've got pole. With qualifying finished, it's time to remind ourselves of our top three. Smith, Verstappen and Carlos Sainz. Well, that wraps up qualifying, but don't worry. The fans really seem to enjoy that. You made it look easy. Are you happy with your performance today? Is there anything that you think gave you the edge over your rivals? After the regulation changes were announced, was it all hands on deck for next year's car? Appreciate your time. Right. I think we can call that a successful qualifying. We should be in with a good chance in the race. It's the final chapter of the season then here at the spectacular Yas Marina circuit. It's a race where the pole sitter failed to finish in three of the first four events. A front row start here is by no means a guarantee of victory. So we go into battle once more as we get underway at the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. The drivers will be racing here at the Yas Marina circuit through 21 corners and a lap distance of just over 3.4 miles. There are a few opportunities to pass with long straights and DRS zones in two places, turns eight and turn 11. Plenty of close racing then, plenty of speed, and I hope plenty of drama to be found in the laps ahead. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of turn one. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? There are three main things to worry about there, Crofty. Positioning, awareness, and discipline. First, you have to put your car in a bit of space and make sure you have room to react to what the others are doing. Then you have to watch your mirrors and listen to the sounds around you to get a sense of where everyone is. And finally, just don't get too greedy. Just because a gap exists doesn't always mean you should go for it. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Smith lines up on pole position and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Sainz, Gasly, Charles Leclerc and Bottas, Perez, Hamilton, Aitken and Fernando Alonso, Norris, Russell, Esteban Ocon and Giovinazzi, Vettel, Schwartzman, Lance Stroll and Mick Schumacher, Sonoda, Mazepin, Joe and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. After the points finish last race, let's aim to keep the momentum going.
work. That's a new fastest lap of the race. This is your final lap, final lap of the race.
Okay, this is Jeff. I need... Top job, my friend. Top job. I was a bit worried about this one at the start of the weekend, but you pulled through. We screwed that up. A big team at the end. Big team. Hello. I, I don't it's care. It was fun. Season, it was fun. Here comes your top yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm not so... That lead at the top of the table has shrunk somewhat today. Now, let's discuss Ant. Who would you say is a content... Doesn't matter if it shrunk, it was the last race. Amazing performance out there. I'm sure you're pretty happy with that. You and your teammate took the top two positions today. Do you think your rival learned from his battle with you? How do you feel after your teammate's victory? Are you happy for them, or do you wish it were you? Your teammate is up on the podium today. This is a great thing for the team, isn't it? <laughs> great. Well, that's everything. Right. Post-season stuff now. As much as I love seeing big numbers on the books, we don't get any benefit from leaving it in the bank. Let's see if he wants to stay here. He does. Yeah, we'll just give him that one. And he's going to stay with us for another year. Can't do anything. <laughs> Let's go. Well, it's great to be back at your headquarters, and I've got to say, an awful lot's changed since we were last here. Let's dive in with some questions. You spoke a while back of a significant investment in your chassis department. Has this investment given your team the push it needs to make substantial gains this weekend? Mm -hmm. Verstappen's made waves in F1 ever since his debut in 2015. But will your team help him get some championships under his belt? Well, he's already got one. You haven't invested as much as you could in facilities or drivers. Are you waiting to make a larger investment in them? It's already maxed out, that's why. Other teams have invested more in their facilities than you have. Are you happy with what you have, or is there a cash flow issue? Your second driver's progress seems to have stalled. Are you developing them as much as you can? Well, thanks a lot for inviting us here. It's been fantastic. <laughs> You're not currently in a rivalry. Sooner or later, you'll. Not really, because it's the end of the season. <laughs> so we'll get our usual big boosts. Mm. Oh, you get three wins. Nice. Not bad. Right, what we're we doing this year? 
Where have I not been? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, where can we go? We can change our Brazil in America. <coughs> we can take out Doing that. Take out Japan. I don't go to Japan. Go to Australia. <laughs> um. We'll swap out the Netherlands for Mexico. We'll go to China. We'll go back to Azerbaijan. That looks good enough. Let's go. We'll skip all of that. No. Right. Um. Let's see. Has anyone took a pounding? Hmm. Has is fell down. Well, they're at the bottom anyway. So it looks like between Alpha down to Alpha and Aston and Williams, they've sort of stayed together. McLaren's on their own. Yeah. But they're still pretty high. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Can't do it anymore. Okay. Uh, driver retirement. Bottas is retired. Okay. So let's see. So Perez has moved to McL uh, Mercedes. Who is now in Red Bull? Gaioto. I think that is. I think he's a new driver. And other than that, I don't think there's been any other changes. Just Bottas leaving. Okay. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the final season finale in Abu Dhabi. We've done all the postseason. When we come back next week, or next episode rather. Uh, we'll do the pre-season and go into season 5, which is the halfway mark. So I'll catch you then. Take care. Goodbye for now.